Okay. Can we correct? The first questions related to reading comprehension. Did you read the text? Was it okay? Yes, it's okay. Yes, it's okay. Fine. B. Hello. Qui m'a contacté comme texte C'est des back 2019 session principale ta 2019. Et il traveling and how to get some knowledge. Well, how to get an education while traveling. The college I opted for it. So, the title of the text. Donc, on y qui me dit, look, une question pour le bac. You can only answer, give one answer. The text is mainly about a family who, there are three suggestions, saved money for the children education or sacrificed learning for traveling around the world or that opted for an adventurous learning experience. What do you think is the correct answer? A, B or C? Uh, C. C, of course. It's the third one. It's C. They decided to stop studying and stop working and to travel for the benefit of learning. We will see that they benefited a lot while traveling. For number two now, for each of the following statements, pick up one detail from the text showing that it is false. So I know that it's false. Now I need a detail from the text. Shmanita, when you answer, you use inverted commas. يقول I think that ولا ما تقولش he thinks لا حط give me وتكتبها كما موجودة في التكست فهمنا ولا أنا uh, sorry Amy and Aya quickly embraced their parents ideas what is to embrace an idea to accept it do they did they accept it quickly from paragraph number two no I the suggestion and shocked them initially. Shocked them. That's it. The suggestion. Shocked them. Well, Anna Repons Ochra. The idea. Kif Kif, enough the paragraph. Sank in. Uh, they were surprised by that. B now. Finn and his wife taught their daughters the same school programs as other students in the UK. Was it the same program? No. No, of course not. And the answer is in paragraph number three. They, they copied eh? from the national uh, cur curriculum. National curriculum developing a more flexible student led model. Zuz, Jumal Sah, Ya Emma Bijewab, Kif Kif, they decoupled from the national curriculum. Well, developing, well, uh, uh, developing a more flexible student led model. Zusha. معناتها اللي جاوبنا هوني نحكي لكم على الكونيكسيون كيفاش صارت في الباك اللي جاوب الجمله الاولى ولا اللي جاوب الجمله الثانيه ولا اللي جاوب الكل كلهم تحسبوا صحاح نمبر 3 ناو وي ماست كومبليت ذا باراجراف ويز 3 ووردز فروم باراجراف 3 1 وورد بير بلانك 
the mix could what and you could manitizimni ever their new lifestyle they could what start starts let afford affords they could afford now who's managed to afford something yes to offer to offer to the hajra to offer their new lifestyle by selling their house and the verbs etc i would need here what by adverb i normal simply simply very good by simply selling their house now they were ready to face all challenges and persevere all challenges ب انا هون كتبت a challenge مش مثال تنجم تكتبوا an example لا تكتب a challenge تتحسب لك غالطة عليه a حرف a كلمة و challenge كلمة أخرى هو قال لك there is one word per blank لا تكتب قدامي a لا تكتب the لا حتى شيء is it okay Bon, who need challenges? It's the plural. I'm a, either kid, Jacob, exercise. We'll make time and fill in the blanks with words from the text. Let hot demo, e, le de la hache. Is this clear? Just the word itself. Is that okay? We'll move yes. to question number four. Find words or expressions in the text that mean the same as starting a journey from paragraph number. Number one, hitting the road. Hitting the road. That's it. Hitting the road. En plus, and you need ing. Pshnaka bil ing. Monotonous routine. A routine. Something. A monotonous routine. Dropped in a road. A. A what? ما قال expression في بالي ناش إيه hitting the road هي اللي جت expression عشاني monotonous routine from paragraph number two نعرف وش نية monotonous وش نية routine something that is done and repeated and done and repeated so it's a routine it is a Yes. Short name to good. From paragraph number two, it is a uh, rat. Okay. Well, manager, we can not trapped in a rat. La trapped in a rat. Hadika. كلمة إكسبريسيون كاملة هذيك عليها قلت لك أعطيني كلمة مونوتونس روتي ترابت هو سي تان فيرب تو بي ترابت معناتها عبد محصور في حاجة أوكي أما هو قال لك أعطيني كلمة روتين مونوتونس روتين معناتها ريبيتد روتين هي أرات ذاتس أول أوكي فروم باراجراف نمبر تو ويكنينج دامبنينج دامبنينج B. Huni. Come question three. Question four. Who question two? That you repense. Surtout Huni fil kilme te duma. Two, a three will four. Tikt bul kilma galta. Tetsab bil kum galta. Ali. Katra kulik til mean. El kilma. Deha mit text. Wu text. Kudemu. Ma'am dush il hak. Yorlut. في spelling متاحة. Is this clear or no? So please be careful when you are answering. I repeat, تكتب لي كلمة afford simply challenges. Hitting the road ولا a rat. كلمة متاحة هي كلمة text. 
ما عندكش الحق باش تكتبها بالغلط ذا سيم ثينك وين وي ديل ويذ كوريكتينغ ميستيكس مع ذا كوريكتينغ فولس ستيتمنت يقول لك انت الجمله كتبتها خديتها بالتكست كيفاش تغلط فيها سو بليز بي كيرفول Now, circle the two adjectives that best describe this adventure, if you like. How is it? Enriching, stressful. What can we say about it? Ha l'aventure qui est l'imché de la aile. Je ne sais pas. Aïe aussi. A and C. It makes them rich with knowledge and uh, instructive. It gives them Haja instructive money that it teaches you. It is not stressful and it is not depressive. Donc, we just give one point of view. So if you were the mixed daughter or son, would you accept to go through such an experience? Why or why not? If I were the son or the daughter, I would accept. Well, I would not. It depends. I You would accept or you wouldn't? I would accept immediately. I would accept. To go through such an experience, Ali, Stawilsk, Tati, El Kos. Jeob, I would accept without the cause, you don't get a mark. Okay? Would cool, I would accept. Atini, Sbab, Alish. Because one reason, give me one reason. But you are not obliged to write full sentences for that, or two or three, just one reason. Would be enough. Don't I would accept why? Learning and education isn't limited by a place or a constant uh, curriculum. Okay, because learning, education, are limited by a place. Can Everywhere. Why? For example, no, I wouldn't accept. But, but learning and uh, traveling are important. It's a zero. But I have to answer the question. If I I would accept. I would not accept. And then you give the reason why. I'm a test. will accent have a justification. They're clear. No. J'ai l'impression les. Qu'est-ce qu'on fait, je mets un. Je ne sais pas ce qu'il y a. Ok. Alors. Ah. Je vais vous donner des blancs maintenant. Je suis en 2014. Sur la virtual education. Les plus rêvants des avantages de l'online learning sont directement liés aux spécificités du monde web. Mais est-ce qu'il y a un volontaire pour lire Would anyone like to read? Can I read? Yes, please, Rania. Madame, uh, the most relevant uh, disadvantages of online learning are directly tied to the specific specificities of the web environment itself. Uh, the non-existence of a physical classroom, 
سكيدول نعرفوا شنو سكيدول هو لومبلو دي تون فوالا هاو هاو از ات ات از فلكسيبل اي سكيدولز اند ريديوسد بيرسونال انتراكشن ار اول فاكتورز ذات اتراكت بيبول However, these factors have their own aspects that should be um, highlighted. Highlighted. Shmani that to highlight. To mention or... Mention. To be or make. Highlight. <laughs> One making it to yes, Rania. Uh, first, participants can only receive information from the instructor and usually have limited opportunities to exchange ideas and information with other students. The lack of visual cues may also bring delays or misunderstanding when information is transmitted. When the information is uh, transmitted. Yes. Yeah. Uh, add to that, much exposes to the internet deprives, uh, deprives the users of practicing. To deprive. To deprive someone of or from of of and dim right of to prevent from or do be in a minimum eduma don't deprive the users of of something yes uh, of practicing their interpersonal skills. Furthermore, the relayed na uh, nature of communication. Between teacher and teacher student. And so student. here it is uh, between the teacher and student. Yes. Uh, dampens a timely exchange of questions. Uh, lately, uh, according to a study, this may result according in a test scores. In poor the okay. Uh, have you ever wondered how school aged kids and aspiring medialists manage the demands of schooling Many students, athletes like Jordan Wendell, uh, the youngest diver to qualify for the Olympics, are uh, turning to virtual schools? Yes, so very famous. People are there are a lot of reasons why they are opting to this to opt to opt. Opt, near preposition, but opt actually for something. Uh -huh. Opting for yes, this innovative learning environment. Virtual school students can adapt their learning around their sport and other obligation. They are learning what? Don't come in. Ajmo, adjust the learning schedule. Oh, a timetable. around their sports and other obligations. And then they can pursue or continue or have a education without sacrificing their dreams or medals quality. and trophies. So they can pursue a quality education, talim bihi, and in the same time, they can pursue a quality education. 
شنو هما لي زاكتيفيتي لي عندهم with a laptop and internet signal online students sleep can school from any location they can attend. I need uh, here to attend mm. yes they can attend school some virtual schools provide real time instructions students enabling. to interact with teachers and others enabling to enable now فوش معناتها تو انيبل ولا تو الاو تو الاو تو ميك ات بوسيبل ناو نمبر 3 شال وي كونتينيو ذا كوركشن ريتاير Couple are taking legal action after their holiday has turned into hell. Lillian, age 62, and the verb to be, left with ongoing health problems since their holiday in 12, 2012. So, what is the tense that we must choose and why? Present perfect. Why? Because we have since. 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 So, she has then been. Has, been. has been. Very good. Right. Her partner also fell in with severe stomach aches on the holiday, but has luckily made a full recovery. Recovery from the verb to recover. Nothing. Has travel laws represent the lawyers. المهم دفع the special lawyers representing okay sorry for this interruption we've got a network problem so can we continue the correction Then we said specialist travel lawyers, the couple, no other holiday makers who faced similar problems in previous years. So what can we say here? Specialist travel lawyers, Asl Jumla, who are, we are speaking about the lawyers, who are representing The couple, but here we are not uh, uh, allowed to use who and are, etc. We must just use the gerund to identify who these lawyers are. So they are representing the couple. They know other holiday makers who faced similar problems in previous years. The couple said there were no drinks in the rooms, and when we They are speaking about their holidays in the past with the verb request. It must be when we request it again in the past. Some, the bottles, that is of water or of drinks, to send to us with the seal already broken. Donc, these bottles... When we request it, some, yes. Where sent to us with their seal already broken, they also complained. about the food what's the problem with the food to be left out for a long time on the buffet so the food being left on the buffet for a long time Lillian added we were looking forward 
Dima, I'm looking forward to receiving when I have this expression. I'm looking forward to plus verb plus ing form. Always. Is this clear? Dima, can I call expression? I'm looking forward to the verb must take the ing for. Do you have any question for this exercise? We'll move to the last one. According to the U.S. Department of Education, more and more states prefer virtual schools to traditional ones. Nationwide, around 200,000 students are now in full-time virtual school programs. They are, how are these pupils or these students? What's the appropriate verb you can use? Enroll it. Enrolled. To enroll at school is to register in full-time virtual school programs where students have no face-to-face -face contact with teachers. Virtual schools are the fastest growing to traditional school. So it is what? An option or alternative or choice? Alternative. An alternative, another choice, another possibility. To traditional schools, a study have found supporters say such schools make let or allow students to learn at their own pace. Let students. Let students. To learn, well, let students learn. Excellent. To let someone let do something. Learn. To make someone allow do them. something. Allow, to allow, allow someone to, to do learn. something. Yeah. They also provide teachers who may, should, must not be available at traditional schools. So they provide teachers who May. May not. There are some schools who still don't have teachers. Teachers are not there, are not provided. Critics say ordinary schooling draws off resources and deprives students. To deprive of or from. Oh. Le. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. To deprive. Where is it? Deprive of and prevent from. So, deprive students of socialization. A 2009 American analysis concluded that online students performed much on Better. average. It's much better. Okay. Any question before we move? Miss, what does Swifter mean? Uh, easier, lighter. That's the meaning. Okay. Okay. Let's see the next one. We were talking about Santes. The last time we were talking about writings. Writing either letters, articles, how to write, what is the best strategy for writing, etc. So, Shnuma, you have to units one and two. So, we have traveling, benefits of traveling, a recommendation about a holiday, a letter of complaint. And a space tourism, it could be either letter or article. Virtual schools are letter or article. And lifelong learning, also how to write an email. The option for writing a postcard. What's the procedure? How to write a postcard? Only for short writings. How to write uh, an ad about Tunisia, for example. And finally, how to write a biography. 
for example, and when you write about an organization. Donc, here are the possibilities of writing that we can write. We can write them. 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 In the school of scientific, you will have two writing, short writing or long writing. A long writing. So, benefits of traveling. The article or the letter. Why do we travel? For fun or leisure. Uh, what does it say? A holiday gives one a chance to look backward and forward. We travel to provide some excitement and escape from the ham drum of ordinary life, or the routine, to break the ordinary daily routine, to get rid of stress, to have fun through different activities, to recharge our batteries, to enjoy free time with friends and relatives. Or, we can learn when we travel. For knowledge, it says the world is a book and those who do not travel read only a page of it. We travel to attend art shows, to attend festivals, to attend sports events, football matches, etc. Last year, many Tunisians went to Qatar because there was the World Cup. We travel to broaden our horizons, to see the world, to experience or discover new cultures and lifestyles, to meet interesting people. Don't here, we will only speak about the benefits. Now, if it is a letter, the letter must start with the dear Peter, John, Fran, Etc. I need an introduction. Shufna na andkum el song hadi kixdemna la awl mabdina el unit one, two, three or four. Mi awl les unités shufna les expressions that you can use for introductions or expressions that you can use for the main part. And expressions for conclusion. Mazelo antkom le son hadu kom wale. Yes or no? Aim da makal yamane hafif. El yamane hafif awal hafif. Wala. Hadu kom antin. Hadu kom. Shno ma les expressions li najmo stamlo hom fil introduction. من كيف نحكيه على الهوليدين شنو ما ليز إكسبريسيون اللي بش نستعملوهم كيف نبدأ نحكيه على the reasons why for for example introduction نجم نبدأه it goes without saying that for example traveling is very important for many reasons The main part. We will start by giving the reasons. Don Kuni, at least three reasons. If you can do more, it's okay. Kuna, to start with, man seush prostamlu the maximum of expressions that express additions. To start with, it is. Funny, and you must explain your point of view. The second idea, besides, conhedum call to avoid and and and. Uh, what are the reasons? Furthermore, and you give uh, again another reason to finish. Well, uh, finally. Why do you like traveling? For a reason. That's for the main part. Finally, I've got the conclusion. We can have it here. The conclusion. Je vous mets les expressions, les nages, je vous mets les conclusions. Mais je les aime cool to conclude 
Or finally, there are other uh, expressions that can be used. Tetfakluhum wale. Arjo le 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 son. To sum up. To sum up. Yo, to sum up. Shnejim stamil. Nej, last but not least. Well, all things mentioned, for example, we can say that it is very important to travel. because it has got many benefits. Don't hear, you are not obliged to repeat the benefits. But it is very important to travel. It's very important to visit places because there are plenty of benefits. Don't Kuni, whether it is an article or a letter, when it is a letter, we start with the Dear Peter, now, if it is an article, the article, Fakruni, if you ship the article, first, Madam, the article from a title. Title, the title, yeah. And let's talk about the benefits of traveling. Why is it important? It could be my title. Why should we travel? Or why? Shall we travel? Hey, it's not a question. It is kind of my uh, question for titre. Ama as an introduction to my topic. Unarjo les trois étapes: introduction, main part, and the conclusion. Donc un titre. وإلا لا تخيزم دي ما عندي لي تخوز إتابين في المين بارت introduction just to introduce conclusion to finish with the main part سيغتو هوني بش نستعمل linkers نثبتو I use as many linkers as possible with the diversity avoid repetition ما نقعدش لكلهم نستعمل معهم and 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 فما besides moreover in, a, uh, in addition to that furthermore etc is this clear? That's when it is for holiday. Recommendation about a holiday. Don't kuni the benefits of package holidays. What are the uh, benefits? The accommodation, spacious, picturesque view, calm, serenity, uh, full options, uh, air conditioning, the food, luscious, delicious, varied, taste and spicy residence. It could be any place that you choose, close to the beach, two minute walks, near the city center with transport available. And there, when you want to convince someone to go on a package holiday, the staff, you get a guide, you get a roommate, friendly, helpful people. Uh, what's the E doing here? Enjoyed scheduled program. Remember, what is scheduled? Scheduled means uh, planned and uh, organized. Now, here are the benefits. In general, you can use that. Najmun a letter, Hedeya, talking about the package holiday, either in a letter or in um, uh, an article. Huh? to write an article to a newspaper, to the school, magazine, to talk about its benefits. Then, Anna, letter of complaint. For unit number one. Here the type of writings in the National Museum of the World. A letter of complaint. After being promised a dream holiday, you went to your destination and you discovered that it is wrong. What they said is not there. So you decided to write a letter of complaint to the uh, agency. 
كي نرجعوا زيد على لوسون اللي خدمناهم بالموديول بالموديول باش نلقاو ان اكزامبل اوف ذيس رايتينغز اما اوف كورس يو شود نوت ليرن ذيم باي هارت يو شود جاست جيت ان ايديا اباوت هاو تو ستارت تو رايت ب سينس يو ار جوينغ تو كومبلين اباوت ذيس ليتر it must be clear from the beginning dear sir i am writing this letter i'm writing this letter to complain about the holidays Dima, I complain about something I had with your agency. And then you start talking about what are the problems with this holiday. Donc, Huni, Bishnibda. To start with, and you speak about your first problem. Besides, The second problem. Furthermore, the third problem, etc. So, for example, first, or to start with, the accommodation. What's the problem with the accommodation? Dirty room, no view, noise, no air conditioning. Se besides, the food was disgusting, rotten, filthy, not luscious as expected or as promised or as advertised, same dishes daily, and they had to eat out and to pay extra money, at least two or three. Besides, or furthermore, the residence is far from the beach, far from the city center. Uh, what they promised is not there. The staff or the guide or the roommate, they were not friendly, not helpful, always shouting, asking for money. You introduce a linker to start with, besides, furthermore, and to finish the, th the third or the fourth problem. Well, how do we finish? I am looking forward to receiving a convenient compensation. Otherwise, I shall feel free to sue. اللي نكملوا بها The Letter of Complaint اللي هي شفت تقولوا You either give me a compensation ترجع لي فلوسي وإلا تعوضني تعطيني تعويض Otherwise I will sue you I will take the case into court Is this clear? That's when it's about complaint It can only be a letter of complaint Next, space tourism. Kif kif. For the song, he am the song for unit number one. Space tourism. It could be either you write a letter to your friend to speak about the importance of space tourism, or an article in the school magazine and a newspaper to talk about the importance of space tourism. Well, either positive aspect or. Negative aspects. I always insist on if it is a letter, it's dear. That's for letter. And when it is an article, for the article, it is a title. Always remember that. It's very, very important. And the same parts, the introduction, the main parts and the conclusion for both. I insist ubrabi and linkers of uh, addition. Tetfakrum and linkers of addition wale. Yes. Elihuma. Add to that linkers of Voilà, addition. Okay, not only, but also the. Voilà. Besides, moreover, 
in addition to mm -hmm. he is not only for example the hotel was not only dirty but, but mm -hmm. also far from the beach uh, furthermore Uh, what else? Added to that. Add to that. And uh, two. Also, Deja Abheduma, you avoid the repetition. That's very, very important please concentrate on that a uh, positive aspect of space tourism and i only a bit kind of a summary before the uh the test it's personal experience satisfying human desire for adventure the adrenaline gets higher and higher you're living a unique lifetime adventure being in the annals being famous Second, it's life. Alive, to live, you can live a rare experience of weightlessness, zero gravity, floating in the air, and thus making the impossible possible. It's good for humanity, part of scientific research, discovering a new world, probably exploring space, discovering the yet undiscovered facts about space, finding new miracles, new precious materials, new resources. Now, planet Earth is suffering from drought. La Baie Maybe we can find water there. Who knows? Negative aspects, dangerous, risk of death. Don't call Haja, Fassarha, Mishtati l'exemple t'tada. Mishtkul, it's a personal experience and we live a rare experience of weightlessness. Let explain. Wukudema handical explanation. What do, you, what do we mean by dangerous risk of death? Flying in outer space is still not safe. The shuttle may burst and expensive, exorbitant fare. Only the well-to-do people can enjoy that. The poor are deprived from the dream. Uh, so nice. it's all right. Huh? What does burst mean? Sorry? To burst, uh, explode. Explosion, the tar shock. Okay, thank you. Is that okay? Well, yes. Be. So we said mostly expensive, exorbitant, only well to do people can enjoy it. The poor are deprived of this dream and it's already social segregation. It is unfair, Alish, the rich are splurging billions of dollars. Ilauhu. That's to splurge. They throw. Billions of dollars, while millions of children in poor countries are starving to death. It's a clear sign of selfishness showing off all that money could be used for charity. Don't Kuni, just choose one point of view. Remember, so the letter B for unit two. For unit one, unit two, Anna, virtual education, kif kif najam in a form of letter, article, or email. And the second one, lifelong learning. It could be either article, letter, or email. So the virtual schooling, the pros, that is positive side. Why would you opt for virtual education? Give your reason why. Either in a letter or article or email, easy, flexible, convenient. The learners feel free to study whenever and wherever they like. No more obligation of attendance or traveling. The options are varied less expenses for transportation and books. The information is valuable, it's varied, you're up to date, easy access, you get it. 
coping with globalization process, the world now is becoming a small village where the notions of time and space are not restricted behind walls. It's a solution to avoid bullying and torture and an alternative for physically disabled pupils. Hilada, إذا كان you are choosing the four, just راهو l'information تلم ذا الكل عندهم l'information تلم ذا الكل عندهم الكوخ أما شنو الفرق ما بين essay و essay هو the use of linkers try to write short sentences not very long make your sentences clear when you give an uh, argument or a reason, try to explain it. Full stop. Don't forget capital letters. Don't forget to pay attention to your uh, spelling. No spelling mistakes. Or avoid the repetition. But all the pupils, I am sure, all the pupils who are going to take the exam or the test, they have this information. Okay? It's in books, it's in your school uh, uh, book, it's in the classroom, it's given online. Donc, ma hiš haja saiba. Ama shnu wal farak, kifish tukht. Haulu jumal qsar, haul trud bilik ma ta'amalsh repetition, haul hata fil linkers, ili ktibnehom, ustamnehom, haul t'stamn maximum minhom. And, and, and besides, moreover, in addition to that, your essay must be clear, precise, and concise. Go straight to the point. B. Virtual schooling. Now, what are the cons? Cons, it means negative sides. Why do people don't accept it? It's not practical. It's harder. Needs costly equipment. It's very expensive. It's coordinator, it's connection, internet, etc., etc. Not attainable for the poor. It requires highly skilled expertise. A bit tough, stable, l'ordinateur. Lack of motivation to learn. Absence of competitiveness. Donc, la hajal bia fil qasim. Il y a competitiveness between pupils. But here, it does not exist. Lazy students are more likely to fail. If they can make a chakra, they will find the course on the net. Anti-pedagogic necessity to face-to-face -face interaction. The role of the teacher is minimized. It's antisocial. No communication. No friendship. No community life. You are living in a virtual world with virtual people. Absence of social skills. Overprotection of children who can't learn life skills, and how to deal with problems in everyday life. Absence of physical efforts. This cause health damages, eyes, back aches, head aches, and uh, obesity. Pupils don't move. They are in the same place. Don't Huni choose one point of view. Lifelong learning, recall concreto has it a leçon, the benefits and the drawbacks. Kif kif, it could be either in the form of an article, mail or letter. The benefits seek knowledge from the cradle to the grave. Did you think expression this expression? Or did you think it to seek knowledge from the cradle to the grave? Not to the knowledge from the cradle to the grave. From all our life, is education. For vocational purposes, enroll and attend school, study subjects, get a degree, have qualification, uh, be prestigious, well-paying job, get promotions, or non-vocational, to learn, to get knowledge, to combat illiteracy and ignorance, to be a good citizen, to contribute to the progress of one's community, cope with the change, it's never, never stop learning, Improve your professional level, get promotions, higher salary, financial benefits, thus you improve your social life by getting extra income, you climb social, professional, and financial level. The drawbacks, lifelong learning can be tiring after a long day at work, it can be expensive, it can affect the family life, no more time for children. 
there is lack of motivation and inability to cope with the new learning initiatives, feeling ashamed and unable to carry on the courses. These are the consequences. B. Heduma long writing. Heduma writings. Helinaj Mujukum ala eight marks. I insist that you must pay attention to the three parts. Always keep in mind there must be an introduction. There must be a main part, one sentence introduction, one sentence conclusion. That's very important. Tawa, short writing. Shnoi Najmijina. Najmji writing a postcard. One of the last things you hear from a friend or neighbors as you go away on holiday is send us a postcard. Donc, Huni, a postcard, you are on holidays. We send postcards. Often it is on the last day of the holiday to tell your friends what a great time we're having. The postcards have three main characters. First, they are short and positive. And it must be personal. That's the third characteristic. Shmanita short. You don't have a lot of space to write. And the Kalish writing is the first part writing. And it must be positive. And you are on holiday, you are happy. You are going to write about a great thing. And the Kalish, in Majid Farhan, Makshtabat Labd Kat Posta, or Luigi Snow, Mank Matko. A postcard is type of informal and personal writing. It's informal, don't dear, uh, hi, hello, see you, I miss you, uh, kisses, goodbye, who personal because it's from one person to another. And there is not much space in the postcard, so usually mention just a few things and use shortened sentence forms. ما عندكش سباس كبيرة هذاك عليه الرايتنج هذا 5 لاينز ماكسيموم ما أكثرش سو إت ماست بي شورت بريسايس ذن يور أون أن أيلاند ديسكرايب ذا لاندسكيب هاو يو فيل أباوت إت رايت هوليداي بوست كارد تو أن إنجلش فريند إن ذات وي يوز بريزنت سيمبل أور بريزنت كونتينيوس postcard. Donc, it must be short, positive, uh, informal, okay? Uh, and the tenses, either simple present or the present continuous. Example for that, hello, we're having a terrific or great holiday at Schneel Blas and Intifea. The landscape is breathtaking and the food is delicious. I've already done a lot of exciting sightseeing and can't wait to see you uh, uh, what the rest of the trip has stored. Love to you. Well, I'm really enjoying my stay here as everything is amazing and beyond my expectation. Anyone dreams to be in this place, it's heaven on earth. The weather is great. It's always sunny and birds are always twittering. The landscape is breathtaking. People are hospitable, kind, friendly. In case of loss, they lead you whenever you want. If only you were here with me, it's an opportunity not to be missed. So these two sentences can be the concluding sentences. That's when it comes to the postcard. Is that okay? So here is a quick guide. Hi. For the postcard again. Huh? Write your name. We're having. Choose the adjectives that are convenient to you, that you choose. Great, wonderful, fantastic, fabulous. The weather is hot, it's sunny, it's perfect. We're uh, spending our days on the beach, sightseeing, etc. Mention any activity that is convenient to you. You are in the pool, in the beach, etc. The food, interesting, spicy, good. People, how are they? 
see you on when you are going to go back. We finish with love, wish you were here, best wishes, and your name. Is this clear? Have you got any question? No? Okay. So here is an example. You are going to Jerba for uh, the winter holidays and uh, you send us a postcard to tell about your amazing experience in this place. So just use that. Uh, yes, sir. Here it must be dear who? Friend, uh, sister, brother, John, Peter. And how do we finish? We said love. And I uh, don't know. J, for example. And use that space to write about your holiday there. We must choose the present simple tense. Now, another writing. A short writing. Writing an ad. Shmanital ad. Publicity. To convince people to come, for example, to go on a, to a place. Shofne al ad doctor yachkina al lesson about Edinburgh. So we try to convince people to buy something or to go to a place. Advertisement writing is a style of writing that uses persuasion. You try to convince. Hedekalish, we use the imperative form. Buy one. Come. Go to Tunisia. Visit Sidi Bou Said. Uh, enjoy the place, etc. That's the imperative form, and that's a persuasive way. When we write an advertisement, the techniques, Kimakulna, it's to advise people, not only advise, but convince them. El Muhem, the preposition must be dying, and there is no competition. In the Kalish, we use a lot of superlatives. It is the best place. It's the most beautiful country. It is the easiest uh, visa to get, for example. It is the most delicious food that you can get. So, here, your goal, Alish, so your writing must be engaging and persuasive. And it has conviction. The goal is to convince readers to purchase your product or service. You should only focus on the benefits. For example, about Tunisia, you just talk about what is positive. And then, when you talk, you should use you. You will enjoy yourself. You will have plenty of souvenirs. You will get a memorable holiday in Tunisia. That's very important. Finally, your advertisement should be creative, memorable, catchy, and truthful. Creative, it must be in short language sentences. Someone that the reader can remember that catches his attention, and sincere, of course, truthful. Then you can get a successful ad. For example, your English pen friend or your English friend is fed up from the British routine and he wants to recharge his batteries in a wonderful place. Here you will write an ad about Tunisia to convince him to come and enjoy himself. So, go and visit Tunisia. Are you fed up from stress, from the daily stress, 
Tunisia is your destination. It's the perfect place to be. How? Go and visit what are the places you like. Uh, enjoy yourself in only the place. What is it? Savor our delicious food. And you must give examples of food. Buy souvenirs from, for example, uh, the Medina or the souks. Example of souvenirs. What are they? And how do you finish? Don't miss this opportunity. Is that okay? So this is how you can be convincing. All the verbs are in the imperative form. Go, visit, enjoy, savor, buy, don't. هو ما هوش أمر أما تقول عبد أعمل لك الحاجة هذيك for your benefits. Writing a biography now. نجم يجيكم uh, uh, short writing لوليني دون قلنا postcard and add a biography. The biography must be written in a chronological order. تبدأ من الأول للآخر. You should begin with a person's life and move through his career and achievements. Uh, it must be clear. It provides clarity on how the person's life unfolded and how they accomplished their goals. A biography should be written in a narrative style. For example, someone here, we have the biography. I chose for you the biography of Mark Zuckerberg. He was born in May 14th in New York. His occupation, his achievement, his wife, children, and wealth. Don't confuse you, chronological order. And then the tense written is the past tense. Though we may shift to the present or the future, like the example we have here, there is, uh, uh, we can speak about him now as a founder of Facebook, he is the founder of Facebook. He is an internet entrepreneur. He was born in America, but he lives in America. He has two children. So here we use the present tense. It's possible. But when it comes to his birth, here it must be in the past. That's his wealth. Also, it could be in the present. So, how do we start? Date and place of birth and death, if applicable. In our case, it's not. Manage, manage said. Educational background, professional experience, era of expertise, and the major achievements. So, here it is. His Michael, Mark, his name, or Mike Zuckerberg was born in May 1984 in New York, America. He is the internet entrepreneur and the founder of Facebook. He's married to uh, Priscilla Chan. They have and he has got two children. His wealth is $4.3 billion. So here, Akhtar Hajastamaneha, who will present dance because we are still talking about him now. But in general, dates in the past, so you must choose the past uh, dance. Is it okay? Clear? We will move to the last part of the writing as a first part writing for the 
في الدوفار دو كونترول في الدوفار دو سانتيز هذا وين يو ار جوين تو رايت اباوت وورد اورجنايزيشن يونسكو يونيسيف دبليو اف او دبليو اف بي دوت اف او نتفكروا هذوما اسمهم اكرونيمز Okay, the tense used to introduce certain organization must be the present. Past tense is used in dealing with the date. For example, the WFP was founded in 1961. Donc, date of foundation, it was founded. But there's a remark, please, I want to add when it comes to biography. Two sentences. He was born in, for example, 1984. Who either can on a date of death if there's a date of death. He died in I don't know, 2020, for example, okay? Of course, with the years, it's always it. We'll finish then with the acronym, date of foundation, the purpose, and the A. For example, the WFP, is the world's largest humanitarian agency fighting hunger worldwide. It was founded in 1961 and has 36 member states. Its purpose, it has got, for example, many purposes. First, it, can, it promotes the world food security. And it helps to improve the lives of the poorest people. Moreover, it helps in saving the lives of victims of war, civil conflicts, and natural disasters. Finally, there are 82 countries that benefit from food assistance thanks to the WFP. Don't hear again. It is a short writing. It must be composed of four to five lines. You must write clearly short sentences. Any part you have to full stop, and I move to the second one. Is that okay? I hope this is clear for our uh, writings. How to deal with the writings? You tell me if you have any question. Be before we finish. Writing an article. With an article, we should start with the title. We use simple present tense since you are presenting facts. Use one point of view to express your point of view. Uh, unless you are asked to express a specific idea. My colleague, what are the benefits of space tourism? What are the negative side? Uh, positive or negative. The three parts must be present in your writing, the introduction, main part, and the conclusion. Use a variety of linkers to express addition, while a contrast, while explanations. Avoid repetition. Writing a letter, we should always start by dear. The use of the tense depends on the topic. Letter of complaint, for example. We use the simple past, Alish, because you are going to complain about past holiday and the past experience. Letter to a friend, speak either about positive or negative side of your yeah, package holiday, space tourism, virtual education, or lifelong learning. The use of the simple present tense is advised with some reference to either present perfect or simple past. Example, it's possible also to use the future. When you say, lifelong learning will allow you to get a higher degree. You will get 
a promotion, etc. It's possible. Writing an email. Now, starting phrase for the email. Dear Tom, well, good morning, Tom. Ending regards with best wishes, with many thanks and best wishes. Here is an example how we finish the email. Thank you in advance for your time. Best regards, David. B. Shlach you feet our email. State the background. Shmaneta. How you know the recipient and uh, why you are emailing this person. Don't malult. I'm writing this email to speak about the problem or to speak about the benefits or to give my point of view, etc. Second, provide the purpose. Ensure that you write the core email content in clear, short sentences. Avoid in an email unwanted jargon, non useful sentences. Your sentences must be short and clear. You add closing remark for an email, waiting for your positive response, looking forward to hearing. Okay? Donc, that's how we end and how we finish an email. Well, that's all for this. We should have now writing a letter, an email, and an article. And uh, I hope I answered all your questions, mainly related to the writing process. Have you got any question? Any remark? Miss, I have a question. Yes, please. Go ahead, Rania. Uh, in the comprehension part, I... when the question is about what does the underlined word refers to, I... get it wrong. Hey, what does what does the underlined my film kids jump to action here, Rania? My name is Hazel. I need to fish not what does the word refer to? Paragraph, how the Kraha? You concentrate on that paragraph. Who keep the Takra? Bishtifem, keep Stelka reference. His Starafa Alashno. Automatically, Manita. You need concentration. So, call it in a heady alash no, he the mefish, best gamara. He's mctakra. Can call it in a his heady school, alash kun taki. He's mctarf, fius the paragraph edica, schneel reference in teha. Maneta, you need to really concentrate on reading. If you can understand my the points in the paragraph or what that paragraph means it will be easier for you to get a, a correct answer just concentrate on reading okay and when you reread your your paragraph it will be, uh, the answer will be there. That's the only solution to get uh, the answer of how uh, a reference question. Deep concentration in reading. Okay, Rania, did I answer you? Yeah, okay, I'll try. I wish you good luck. Thank you. Be any other question? Malek, good one, Malek, good to work. No? Hey, Madam Rodwa. B. C'est bon, I don't have to understand the writing. I don't have to understand the writing. I don't have to understand the writing. Madam, I have a question. Hey. Title of the article, Obligate. Hey. يلزم هو بيش نعرفوه احنا ارتيكل يلزمك تحط فيه تايتو وني اوبليجي از ذات اوكي اما التايتل قصير مثال يجيك رايتنج على 
Benefits of Space Tourism. تكتب التايتل Benefits of Space ولا Benefits of Space Tourism. It must be short. أما يلزم تحط لاختيك يلزم تحط التيتخ. كيما في اللاتخ يلزمك تحط Dear. 